uh, the new tappets and tappet cuffs. Hey, it's a bird, it's not a fish. The, the stud that was sticking out, they, uh, they uh, put a nut through. Thanks for all the help, buddy. We are doing some mistakes. We're trying to be as close as we can to protocol. Dummies like us can do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speak for yourself. Hey guys, next day, 24 hours later, we're here with Flying Rod 15 in his truck. And you know what we have here? Let me show you. That's the trailer. We're going over to Nadal's. Gonna roll the bike uh, back uh, on the trailer. And I was able to coordinate a local shop. I'll actually show, show, some, show some footage from the shop itself how they're uh, gonna be extracting the bolt. From there, we're gonna take the bike back to Nadal's uh, Martin Luther King Jr. day today. And uh, that's it, weather's not too nice. Say hello. Hello. There you go. <laughs> so the uh, place we're taking it to, yeah, uh, it's the same place we took Nadal's bike to get uh, professionally tuned. It's called uh, Creative uh, Performance. Which Creative is Performance. We'll show you when we get to the place itself. We'll show you, we'll say hello to the people over there and uh, give you a update. Hopefully we can finish this build today and fire up the bike and show you how you can also do this upgrade yourselves at home with some buddies. Blackbird is loaded. Gonna strap it down and take it to the shop. We're begone, begone to the shop to get this done right here. That little friggin' bolt. I wanna ask me if you ask me, uh, it's either too much thread locker during assembly or or they over torqued it at Harley because we. We didn't do anything uh, out of the ordinary. We so. did not. We did not. And we had uh, four experts. Well, three, doing... three experts and one and one producer filming. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's uh, let's deal with it. Look at this. It rained crazy last night, and it's very close to the bay or to the. Check this now, out. Now we're going underwater. <laughs> <laughs> we're going underwater. Oh my God. Hey, it's a bird, it's not a fish. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not a black bird, it's a uh, black swan. Black, black swan, there you go. <laughs> black swan, new name. Look at this, this is pretty cool. Flying rides uh, truck. We can see Blackbird the whole time. Making sure that nobody, uh, nobody other. Oh, nice and closer. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look, you could even see Mr. Holy Shift. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The, 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 the Holy Shift logo yeah. there. It's right there. Very Watch, cool. look, if you want to move it, you can go down and see how you can go down. And walk. Oh, wow. Oh, there's, oh, yeah. bring that up. Creative performance, just pulling in. Let's see what it's all about. And it's very appropriate because Blackbird is being dropped off next to a shop that's right next to an airport. Oh, right. right that's, there. that's the airport. That's a the lair, runway, the we runway call is right there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Right there to the left. You'll see the runway here in a minute. Keep going. Keep going. If the bike rolls, just go right over there and unload it. Right in the roundabout. So, so we are in creative performance. Uh, Blackbird is already lifted. They're going to work on the bike now. And we got permission from Bill over here to watch, uh, to watch what they're doing obviously fixing our our wrongdoing with this uh with this bolt coming out so we'll show you exactly what they're doing and hopefully we'll be able to get it out as uh, soon as possible nice oh nice that's what we needed in the house yeah the welding machine well it seems like the way they're gonna go is a weld they're gonna weld probably yeah, which a was, nut which is one of the options that we have discussed and uh a little bit later on, we're going to explain some of the options that uh, they right. can try at home. Your father, your father's yep. a my mechanic, father's a, a master, master technician. Master technician. And uh, we called him up yesterday, and he gave us uh, three options. One of which was welding a nut on top of it, uh, and then using that to, to take it off. The yes. other one is 
option one would have been to drill uh, a small hole through it and then use a small wire through that hole, wrap it around the screw, and then use the channel lock because uh, it has more surface. That way, it doesn't it doesn't skip. We tried the channel locks, as you remember, I, it was not but it, it was not it was not gripping. So this uh, wire around the screw would enlarge it and then give you more surface area. So that way, it doesn't it doesn't. And then okay. option number two would have been this. And then option number three would have been to bring it over here. Yeah. Well, that's option number four. <laughs> there, there's another option that they can try at home. They can cut the screw, right. make it flush, and then use the um, a drill, uh, a special drill that actually you know sort of drills it in and then pulls it out. I forget what it's called. Um, I think Len gave us the name of it. But that's another option that you could have uh, that you could have considered. So four options yeah. in total. Last option being this one. We were fortunate to have the shop here in New Jersey yeah, locally yeah. that. Uh, was able to fit you in today in last minute, right? Yeah, so. thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Yep. Thank you so much, Creative Performance, for accommodating, especially this day where, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Guys, we dropped the bike off at, uh, I forget their name, Specialties. Creative Performance. Creative, <laughs> creative Performance, and they're at their lunch break right now, so we we'll appreciate, we're gonna let them uh, do their thing with eating, and then we'll, we have to grab our food as well. So, flying right over here and I are Cheers. 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 Thanks for all the help, buddy. You got it, man. Thank you. We're going to grab a burger and then go back to the shop Wait, to pick I, up the bike. I'm going to go with uh, the Bronco Burger, guys. Don't get it wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they were asking questions at the shop. Uh, like, how did we do this? What, why did we do this? Not what, we didn't know how to answer. Like we said, we are doing our own cam. Obviously, we're not professionals, and it's our own. My second cam, Nadal's uh, fourth, fifth cam, and we did our best. So they're fixing our uh, our little uh, boo boo over there, and then uh, we'll continue our build. Okay, we're gonna we're Look gonna that. Dig, that. In, dig into our bacon. So hold on, let me uh, let me eat this fry. Burger. Oh, <laughs> so. Before we get back to the bike, we gotta eat something. And this looks really good. So let us eat, let Mr. Flying Ride over here eat. He has to take his cover off. <laughs> nice. Got it out. Bill, Bill is the man over here. He did it for us. Wow, that's cool. Oh, you know what he did? Oh, then Bill didn't do it. <laughs> I directed who to do the job. <laughs> so what you do, you pretty much uh, bolted? That's, I mean, welded? You welded it, right? Weld the nut to the top, yeah. to the stud. Right. That was luckily sticking out of the motor. Right. Yeah. And then took a micro torch, heated, got everything nice and hot, then wrenched it out. Wrenched, wrenched it out. Thank you, slow, so much. thank you so much. Slow but sure. What's your name? Alan. Alan, thank you so much. Thank you. You are the man. You saved the day. We were really upset yesterday. And he covered the, uh, and he covered the, the body. body for us. Yeah. Bill, you should, that, that, that's a uh, that's whole nother level of service right there. Man. So much. Yeah. yeah. Just don't forget to take the black tape off. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to install it. <laughs> oh, man, I'm excited. I, now the truth, truth be said, I woke up 5 a.m. Like I said in the previous video that I'm kind of concerned, worried, and but it can be fixed and done. But I... But I was I was concerned. 5 a.m. I woke up. I slept like a baby. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Again, I, I cannot say how relieved I am. Yes. Whew. <laughs> Thank you, man. Very good. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Done. Gonna load. Gonna load Blackbird back on, back on the trailer and uh, roll it over to the dolls. We're back at the dolls. The bike is off the trailer. We're back. The bike is uh, back in the garage, and uh, we're gonna jack it up again, lift it, and complete the job that we started. I am so happy and so relieved at this stage. Is there any uh, difference yeah, where how the tappets go in? Of course, there's the flat parts go that way, you know, side by side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got you. 
flat side are going how? How? One flat here, one flat there. Got you. One flat this way, the other flat that way. See? Two flats, this flat, that flat. Yeah. There's two that says front and rear. That's the oh, front. Wait, where do you say front? Show me. It's an F. You see right here it says F. Okay, F, that's it. We want the R. Front and rear one. There you go. Okay. Yeah. You see how the flats, the, the flats line up. Oh, the yeah, yeah, I here. got you. I got you. There, literally, there's, there's flat, there's flat uh, surfaces. And that's how you orientate... Is it orient or orientate the, uh, the tappets? Okay. So this is uh, the new tappets and tappet cuffs. And the bolt is gonna go in here. That is the bolt that snapped on us on that side. Now, of course, obviously, there's a correct uh, torque spec for this. It should be 100 inch pounds. 100, and that's what they messed up at Harley, if you ask oh, me. Wait. And well, we need two thousandths of an inch gap between the metal and the tappet. And I have the feeler gauge right here. What does that mean? Explain you to me. You see this? This can't be hitting the. Because it has movement, it can't be hitting the tappet. So there's got to be a gap, and the gap is uh, two, uh, two thousandths of an inch. So we put the feeler gauge in here while we tighten them up, and it, it, it creates the right gap. If you think I understood what you just said, you're wrong. <laughs> <But, laughs> you see, that's it, and now we tighten it. See? Ah, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, it creates that gap. I got you. And it, that holds both sides. That will be correct. Yeah, yeah, on both. Yeah, you do, yeah, all you need to do is one side. Yeah, yeah. Cause, you cause do one side, then it's going to be cord, uh, correspond to the other side as well. We, 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 we want to double check. We want to double check. Okay. okay. Final torque we're going to do with the torque. Uh, I'm right. going to, I know more or less. So if you want, you say it's just 100 inch pounds is like this. For me, I'm not that technical about things, things that bolt on to engines and stuff like that. Yeah, but let's, you want it to make you feel more comfortable if, uh, if we do 100 inch pounds? No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm good like this. Okay. I'm, that's it. Yeah, that's 100. It's not, yeah, it's a, 100 inch pounds is really not good. Well, how come the Harley tech that assembled the bike because they does an, an, an assembly line. It's probably a machine that, you know, jing, jing, the machine does. The machine does it, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Could you imagine that one, one bolt, one Close small this, bolt, drama. caused all this drama for so many people that didn't sleep at night? And this is all it is. It's like this bolt, and it's, it's, I'll show you again how nice it, uh, the, how they extracted it. The, the stud that was sticking out, they, uh, they uh, put a nut through it and then uh, welded, welded yep. uh, on the top and then they get more leverage out. And they said they heated it up from, uh, with a little torch and they got it out. Well, that's gonna stay with me. I can make a, a chain out of it actually. I'll put it on my neck. But he, he gives us the time of day. You saw, he explains. Yeah, he, 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 he was very, yeah, he let us do whatever we wanted. Where'd you learn this, how to exactly for all the spacing and stuff like that? Uh, well, uh, the, uh, the SNS video has it. SNS video has yeah, it? Yeah, on how to replace the cam. Guys, I, I'm gonna say something obvious, but I feel that I need to say it because the guy at the shop uh, where we just came from uh, said, what we're showing you over here is only for entertainment purposes, yes. okay? <laughs> and it's, you should not, we're not professionals at all. Whatever we're doing over here, we're doing on our own risk, own time, 
and we're 100% not professional. So if you're attempting to do this yourselves, I highly suggest you uh, source, you check out other sources and, and before you tackle this, because uh, we're, obviously we're doing some mistakes uh, and uh, we know that, we're aware of that. You should be aware of that as well. We are doing some mistakes. We're trying to be as close as we can to protocol. It, but this video is basically for entertainment. It purposes. is, it is, it's entertainment not, purposes. It's and also intended to show that, you know, if, if anybody wants to try it at home, it's doable. It's very absolutely, doable. absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But but take it with with take the it with the, with the risk. Yeah, and take the risk that comes with doing things by yourself. Things yeah. can go wrong, just like it happened to to us. Yeah. But not to mention, also, you're dealing with a motorcycle, so safety. If you're not a hundred percent sure, you don't. If you have any doubt, any doubt, right? You're on two wheels, so yeah. I wouldn't look at these blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> What we're doing now, after we uh, tighten it, we're just moving in on sixth sixth gear. We're moving uh, the wheel, making sure that we didn't. They're not touching. They're not binding, and there's free movement of the uh, of the tappets that they're not touching the cuffs. Thank you. Thank you. It's good. Okay. Zoomed in. <laughs> okay, Tim. Okay. Uh, this actually, believe it or not, is the most tedious job time consuming job because it's getting access to this allen bolt all the way in the back and every time i'm engaging it it goes a quarter of a turn so when i count down to three uh, that's when we're going to go fast forward one two three Done with the uh, tappet covers, and now we're putting the push rods in with the push rod covers. And we're uh, getting closer and closer. And I'll be the spring with the, with the clip and then the other gasket. This creates the a pressure, the O-ring. You see, and this creates a pressure. And then this metal will press against the whole, the O-ring. And so then seal, seal it. it, seal it. So and we put, that's, I put, I just put uh, yeah, the O-ring over here for the top. top. Yeah, right in there, two of them on each side, one on each side. And we'll need to do the same for the bottom. No, 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 that's why I have it here. You don't want Where to take it? it. Look, it's right here. And we, when we do the gap, when we install, when we're done, all we, we flush do it down. is flush we... it down. Because I, you, it. I don't want it to fall in gotcha, there. Gotcha, gotcha. Like Little tricks of the trade. Okay. And we went for a nice touch. We went, uh, this is actually Nadal's suggestion. We put a little uh, contrast over there with the black uh, on the chrome. And now the rear. Did you it's fully collapsed. I mean, it's oh, the okay. size is getting in there. There we go. Now we go. And then we'll just put the clip. Uh, let me hold this for you. I oh, know I have to get in there. It's anyway. I have to get in, in here. There we go. Now the probably problem. What time did you guys come back? I was back home almost midnight. midnight. Yeah, so was I. It was a little. Yeah, somewhere around midnight, right? Okay, guys. Uh, this is a very technical uh, area. We pretty much you've seen this on uh, on flying rides video is how to adjust the proper length of the adjustable push rods. I'm not going to go over it again, but pretty much is once the top and the bottom are touching and you feel that there's zero movements, that is the uh, point where you mark it and then you start. Uh, rotating it one to one direction, holding the bottom to the other direction. Uh, and that way you make it bigger. The way you know how much, how bigger uh, to make it, you need to have four, four full rotations of one surface. The way to do it is actually a mark with uh, uh, some kind of white, uh, white out uh, marker or something like that. And then count four rotations where you're extending the bolt. Or it's a pretty much, it's a long bolt, it's a push rod. Once you're at the right place, then you take the locking nut and tighten it against the other. That's how you know. That's how I know how to get the right length, and then you go to the rest of the three. Hope that was uh, clear enough, and if not, then uh, 
I did my best, sorry. <laughs> guys, 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 we're making good progress. We got two of them, two of them already in. Now we have to wait 10 minutes for the oil uh, to come out and to bleed out of the tappets. You know that by the, by the fact that you're able to spin them around a little bit. Once, uh, once we're done with that, we can uh, start the front, uh, the front push rods. Got, got all four uh, push rod covers back in place. Now we're gonna put the body, I mean the air cleaner filter in, connect our beautiful two into one Vanson Heinz Pro Pipe and and then we're gonna fire it up. Fire it up. And no, we have to add the tune to it. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, we're gonna flash the tune, add the tuner, uh, like swap the slot on the tune on the uh, fuel pack three. So I already have the tune, uh, the map over there. All right, Sandy, what are you guys? Uh, what are you guys working on now? We're right now putting. Wait, wait, no, Sandy. In there, putting the yeah, uh, towards that towards the pipe, yeah, right the there. Exhaust the pipe Give me back the, on. How many do you need? Then we'll put the. the no, the, the air filter, the, the, the air, uh, air intake. Yeah, right, we'll these, put that in there. Okay. And then we'll flash the bike. Okay. Flash the bike so we're start. almost there. Almost there, yeah. Almost there. Good work. Thanks. Pretty tedious work here, right? Yeah, now it's like all the... These nuts and these uh, these bolts are... These nuts. <laughs> <laughs> these nuts. I didn't realize that's what it was, but yes. Nadal likes to do a like very tidy, tidy job. Yeah. Even before... Uh, yeah. Tightening the bolts, he's already with zip ties. Of course, because this, to me, it, what, what? So what's he doing with these zip ties? I'm, saying, uh, I'm doing it because uh, I'm surprised, it's John, that it's called me bumping things up. Leave John alone. It's called <laughs> it's called cable management. We're running the O2 sensors ah. along and tightening them Got to, it. Uh, on the on the frame. Got it. So it's not all over the place. Makes sense. It's called button things up. Button things up. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> What a change in the atmosphere since like 12 hours ago when we snapped that bolt. That bolt. I mean, basically. This bolt. By the way, this bolt is going to be raffled. You got any more? Yeah. Uh, I'll sign up any for that. Yeah. <laughs> very, very fast pro uh, progress over here. We have the pipe on. We have the, uh, the heat shields on. Working on the air intake, the filter. Going to be done with that very soon. Then the floorboard. Then we'll mount back the uh, right saddle bag. And then we're going to fire it up. After no, we, wait, wait, after wait, wait, we flash the two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got four mechanics yeah, over here. Mechanics here. <laughs> okay, guys. We're wiping it down. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on one second. Yeah. Um, that's it. We're almost almost done. Uh, Air filter is on. You see, Mr. Holden, my uh, my sous reporting. chefs over here are working on my bike. I'll, I'll tip you in the end, guys. Oh, come on, keep, come on. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Uh, we're gonna put the bag in on and flash uh, flash the uh, the tuner. The tuner. <laughs> gonna put the bag on now. The tension, the the the. Look how beautiful it looks. Nice and clean. Right, yeah, you. my bike has never been so clean. So now let's lower the bike, right? All right, you're saying, okay. you're saying prime the engine. Yeah, yeah, like, like priming it means uh, turn it on and off without starting it a few times. Yeah, without just, oh, how, how do you do that? You without just turn it on and off, on and off. This is priming the yeah. engine. Oh, like the fuel yeah, system. Yeah, like the fuel, okay, the fuel injection go. system. Hey, you go. Okay, but let's lower it. Thanks for the suggestion. Thank you, man. Oh, Harley clean. Fat Boy, this is holy this shit. Is so, so clean. AKA Blackbird. What you tell me later at uh, at home? What what you used? You showed me before. I didn't I see. I bought a whole gallon. Yeah. No, no, show me that. It's um, it's mirror mir oh, I know details on that. We're gonna open up the, the yes. garage door. Gas you want me to open it up now? We never hooked. Uh, we're, we're good to go here. On a dog. Yep. Roll it back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Roll it back. Roll it back. It's it's taping, right? Thank you, Sandy. Um, yeah, you yes. have it on taping. I'm I'm, ro I'm like I'm cycling it, like you guys said. Right, hold on, hold on. Here we go. No. Oh, you're going to start outside? Yeah. Okay. No, you can start it in here. You can start it in start here. Start it in here so you can start hear it. Start it in here first, Andy. Yeah, here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Are we ready? All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? We're going to count it down. Hold on, hold on. We're going to do a countdown. You ready? Let Sandy do it. Come on, go ahead. Do the countdown. Do the countdown, Sandy. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Make sure you're in neutral. Okay, again. 
<laughs> but the bike in neutral. Oh, that's a good one. Make sure you're in neutral because we're in sixth gear right that's now. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we have to make sure we put it back on neutral because we were in sixth gear. Neutral. Neutral. Ready? Ready? No. Ten. No. Nine, eight. What, eight? What comes? Eight, seven. <laughs> eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. one. All right, give it a minute. Give it a minute. Primer, maybe keep going. Hold on. Okay. Houston. No, no Houston. Ready? Go for it. Hold on. Hold on. Spark plugs. It's not for this spark plug. Oh, spark plugs. We're checking the spark plugs here real quick. It wasn't on right. Was it on? Right? Whack, whack, whack. Okay, we will get it. We'll get it. Now we'll get there. Back it off. Put it on the kickstand. Try it. We'll get this figured out here in a second. Sam, they keep recording? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, guys, no countdown, just like. Uh, Joseph, I did. I posted a, uh, a post on. Let's see if it's throwing any codes. What's that code mean? Write this code down. Uh, PO120C. PO120C. So we got an error code. PO120C. Uh, Glenn, the ECM. If you're, if it has to do with the tune, I know that. Because if you're on and you want to check what uh, code uh, 120C means, PO120C. PO120C, let us know. PO123? PO120C. Oh. Rob, we're, get, we're getting there. We're getting there, Rob. We're loading the map. Look at that smile. I'm listen. I'm <laughs> like I was. I was concerned. I was concerned. Yeah. They're saying, they're saying load the new map. Don't listen to anybody else. Somebody just that's said that. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we Because we know that's a problem. Watch it start. Yeah. It was. It was turning. It was rolling. And everything. It wasn't giving the, the communicating with the sport. Do a rain dance. Do a little dance for us. Come on, Sam. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Well, wait, let's get it first. Hey, uh, Sandy, can I ask you a question? What? Are you really good at your day job? Yeah, yeah. I am uh, <laughs> so glad keep it. that you are very good at your Not day from job. from Top Gun. <laughs> from Top Gun. All right, so Here's for everybody on the chat, what? I realize what? that uh, some of you may have given us this advice yeah, earlier on. Right, now you're good. You're I assure you that my intent All right, all right. All right, hold on, hold on. We're going, we're going live here again. Oh, wait, we've been live here all along. Let's see. We can watch the saddle Here we go, here we go. Here goes. Blackbird. Oh, Glenn again is trying to call yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Tell him. Tell him. Here we go.
Hey, thank you so much, everybody, for sticking with us. What did you feel? What did you feel? I was extremely nervous before we started, and finally it's done. Beautiful, amazing. Whew. I can't hit it hard right now. It's dark, no yeah. helmet, and but it's the sound is amazing and the power. You feel it, it's, right? Right? It's right. like jerky, you know, like oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, the wow. Problem, problem problem is too. amazing. The flurry. Dude, Dude guys, this show. was this was like an adventure. We went on an adventure, two-day adventure, and if we Dummies like us can do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speak for yourself, Sandy. <laughs> we, we, we all can do it. You all can do it, guys. You all can do it. Yeah, man. Awesome. That's it, guys. That's awesome. it. Thank you. You're watching Holy Shift. My name is Sandy. Actually, no, again. That's all right. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. All right.